Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. We're uh, standing here underneath my mob farm, which I don't have a good vantage point of, because if I swim way out there in the rain, um, you can see it. It's a little dramatic here. Anyway, it's not the most uh, productive item generator mob farm thingy, but you know, I had fun building it, and I'm going to put a gold farm up top. Okay, let's climb up here and take a, uh, a look. Made some changes since I last uh, recorded. So the mob farm itself, this piece remains pretty much the same. Get a lot of stuff. Uh, the, the first four things here are the most uh, common. Um, I don't really have a huge need for uh, rotting flesh and gunpowder. Actually, the gunpowder could be useful. Um, these are kind of rare drops from witches, and they do show up from time to time, which is kind of cool. So you can see I'm getting zombies dropping now. They fall from up there. Yeah. So the gunpowder um, could be useful. So I, I have a chest here with hundreds of the common items. Gunpowder. Okay. I put in a rail system. Um, oh yeah, and then I have a little waiting room up here. We have plenty of time to go check that out while it's raining. Oops. Go up. <laughs> Listen to my footsteps on the ladder. So I've got a waiting room here where I can, uh, I'm at a proper distance from the uh, from the spawning rooms. I'm at the third level of the spawning rooms here. Uh, I've got I've got some storage. I got a furnace and a crafting table. I got lots of stone because the uh, the gold farm is going to require it. So I got three levels of this. I don't know how to decorate these. I, I just don't know what to do with them. Um, I mean they're they're more. I could see, they're not really an experienced farm, so an enchanting setup doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, uh, this is where the gold farm is going to go. Now, it's been a lot of talk about how in 1.8, they're going to get rid of the gold farms and the iron farms. Um, I have tested with the snapshots, and gold farming still works. So, And actually, I am now playing with the snapshots. I figure 1.8 is due out pretty much any time now, just a matter of weeks, so I started playing with it. There was a crash in 14W818A or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called. Uh, they seem to have fixed that with a new snapshot today. Uh, so this gold farm, I'm pretty high up. You can see I'm almost at cloud layer, and I have to build up another 23, 22, 23 blocks here. And then I'm going to have to enclose this. I've got glass around here now, but I'm concerned that uh, this dirt block in the floor here is going to be open. And the water is going to push everything down into there. And I'm afraid that that's going to let too much light in to the mob spawners below. But... No matter. Uh, I put in a rail system here, and I realized, you know, I've been saying, oh, I don't need gold. Well, yeah, duh, I need gold for powered rails. So, uh, that's why I want to build a gold farm. However, the uh, powered rails are not as expensive as I thought, so. I actually built myself a railway out to the spot. There we go. Rail in sun, in the rain. So the, this bridge, I'm about 300 blocks out from the uh, from the coastline here. So this is a pretty decent trek. It's I mean it's not super far. Um, it was a little bit of a pain to run out there all the time, and I would get hungry. So the rail's a little bit. It's nice and convenient. And I suppose if I wanted to, I could build a system to automatically cart stuff out you know back from the uh from the item farm so there we go okay and let me show you what's going on around here 
Uh, I've made some changes. You know, obsidian farm still there. The generator. Uh, cobblestone generator still there. Uh, I flattened out and lit up. I put some floor lighting in with uh, jack o' lanterns. This whole area here took out the little farm trees. Haven't fenced this area in yet, but I plan to do something here. Don't know what. Um, I tore down the big dirt tower that I had up here. Um, didn't need any more because pretty much from everywhere I could see this better. It was taller. So I took it down because I needed some dirt. Uh, and then I built a uh, gazebo around the, uh, the portal. Mostly to keep mobs from uh, wandering in to the nether from, in, from this portal here. Uh, tried doing something a little more decorative. Everything I've done so far build wise has been pretty very functional. Um, so this is this is modeled on a, uh, a memorial in Burbank, California, at a uh, cemetery that's the Valhalla Cemetery that was uh, right next to the Lockheed plant and near the Burbank Airport, which was originally Lockheed's airstrip, and uh, it's a it's a little memorial that's built to pilots who have died and um, I think it's it's kind of a gazebo sort of shape so that's what I was doing mostly used uh, dark you know monochromatic wool whatever uh, this area here I, I, I uh, expanded oh, that's the best way of showing this so there's there's a river that runs underneath here right here and I had already expanded some area over the top of the river for some of my build. Uh, so I just expanded the area in between the two areas where I did that. So now I've got a big field here. I fenced it in. I need to do something uh, about the lighting in this area because mobs do spawn at night. But it's not that big of a deal. I plan to build an item, sorting, item storage and sorting room here. Uh, I think I have enough space. I know I have space to build something, but uh, I'm still playing around with item sorting uh, mechanisms. And I may tear down, you know, this fence in between. It may not need to be fenced off from the rest of the compound. Everything else is pretty much the same. I've got a... Still got the cows and the sheep. I've got my... Well, hello. Um, I... Still got the farm over here, which I need to uh, to do some harvesting. I need to breed more sheep because they keep glitching out. With the snapshot, a um, couple problems with the chickens. Um, the this uh, the lava fried cooker has become much less productive, and I'm getting eggs out of it, which is a little weird. Um, bunch of chickens from both the egg machine and the chicken cooker uh, glitched out when I had logged in under the snapshot so I had chickens running all over the place here um, so the number of chickens up in the top here and the number of chickens up in the up in the top of, of the the egg machine as well um, really got reduced which is probably fine I have I have like two double or I have a I have a mess of cooked chicken probably more than I need these are feathers and all these are eggs so I probably have more eggs than I could ever possibly use um, so that's fine and if I ever need to I can I can put more chickens up in there I should probably breed more chickens over here because I'm running a little low but that's fine I've got plenty of eggs this farm here, I might actually remove because I don't know that I need it. Um, I can't, I don't have enough space to really go make it automatic like this one over here. And I find myself not using it much. And occasionally, one of the sheep will escape from here, get into the farm, and they stomp around and trample everything anyway. So, so I don't know if it's useful. Um incidents of mobs and 
Nah, there's nothing there. I thought I saw a skeleton. Um, incidents of mobs <laughs> running around here have gone down quite a bit since I leveled this out and lit it up. So that should keep the beasties away from my front door. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to give that little tour of where things are at at the moment. And we can, because uh, I haven't highlighted some of those things yet. But anyway, that's, uh, that's where my things currently exist. I've got uh, some organizational issues here that I'd like to uh, fix by building a storage system out there. So I, I think that'll be the next major project. Oh, I put floor lighting in here so I can get rid of all the torches. I think it looks nicer, nicer and it's brighter. And so we've got floor lighting in all over the place here. So anyway, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, uh, yeah, so uh, sorry. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you next time.